Okay, so this on the right is a Muslim apologist, which I'm not even sure um, if he's still a Muslim or not, but Paul Williams there. And he's, tr he's asking the question, um, what makes you think that Jesus said he was God? Now, there's many different scriptures in the Bible. We have uh, John 14, 9. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who's seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Okay, sorry, that's from a one of the other non-King James Bible translations. But hey, you know, that's what it says. Um, also, the Apostle talks about, you know, we got it here in Isaiah 9.6. Um, Give birth to a son, they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. So that was one one of Yeshua's uh, other names, Yeshua Emmanuel. Um, Yah's deliverer, God with us, basically, that's what it's translated as. And uh, the Saviour, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And you see all these scriptures regarding... Uh, being son of the living God, which means that he's from the Father only. He's the son of God. And so, yes, he is Yahweh in the flesh. But what are your reasons for thinking that Jesus was Yahweh? Jesus was God himself. I just want to know your reasons. For okay. Um, do you mind if I consult my phone? Because yeah. I've got the verses here and I can't remember... I can't remember all the verses, but well, you want the Bible. I actually have a Bible too. Oh, so, that's okay. So, it won't be if you don't mind me using a Bible, uh, it's in, in evidence as well. Yeah, of course. So, okay. well, I just want to know what your evidence for Jesus being God is. Okay. So basically the problem here, and, and forgive me if I appear that I'm misquoting you. I'm not misquoting you. I think the common argument is, um, where did Jesus say he's God? Worship me. That's kind of one of the standard arguments, isn't it? <laughs> Would you agree with that? I just want to know your reasons for believing Jesus is God. Because I believe he said so. But your next question is going to say, where did he say that? No, but that you, don't, you don't know what I'm going to say next. So. Yeah, okay, then in that, that case, he says so. Right, well, can, can you give me examples in the Bible right. where Jesus I knew you were going to say that. Okay. That's what I said. If I said to you, because he said so, you're going to say, where did he say that? Okay. So, what you're looking for exactly, what exact words are you looking for? Yeah, do, do you not know any such verses? I do. I'm gonna well, I mean, yeah, we got loads here, man. <laughs> Just look through them. I mean, this is it, the real identity of Jesus Christ. It's right here. Christ, all the fullness of the deity, lives in bodily form. So many verses. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. No man comes to the Father except through me, Jesus Christ. So he is the Son of God, the Messiah, and he is Yahweh in the flesh, according to um, the epistles of John. That those that say that uh, Yahweh did not come in the flesh is an antichrist, basically. And where does it say that Jesus is Yahweh? Let me just show you that. Now here's some verses to get started from all the translations. Let's go down to the King James. Revelation 1.8 I am the Alpha and the Omega, which uh, doesn't mean Yahweh. The beginning and the ending, okay, doesn't mean Yahweh yet. Saith the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come. That means Yahweh, okay. The one who was, who is, who is to come. That is Yahweh. I will be what I will be. I am what I am. I will be what I will be. Okay. He is Yahweh. The Almighty. The Almighty. Every single translation. The Almighty. God. God. God in the flesh. Right there. Again, verse 4. Grace be to you. Peace from him which is, which was, which is to come. From the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness. The first begotten of the dead. 
the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Of course, a Muslim won't agree with this part. But according to the Torah, you can't have forgiveness of sins. You can't have remission of sins without the shedding of blood. Now, you may call this Judeo-Christian theology here. Um, just pull this up randomly. So this is talking about in Hebrews 9.22. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness for sins. Here we see in Leviticus 17.11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes the atonement for your soul. So that's what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross at Calvary. Very simple. Um, so why doesn't the Quran come into alignment with the Old and New Testaments? I mean, it does say the Jews were blinded in part until the fullness of the Gentiles come in. But when the fullness of the Gentiles come in, God will start to open uh, the, the, the Jewish people's eyes towards Christ. And as it says, every eye shall see him, every knee shall bow and confess that, that Yeshua, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus, God, could you show me the Bible where Jesus says, I am God? Okay, I, I, there you go. Like, I am God. See, the thing is, even if you show the guy um, what it says, and, and Jesus says, there's no way to the Father but through me. So you got to accept Jesus as the high priest in order to get to God, in order that he is the one who makes atonement for your soul. Uh, but he, he won't accept that either. So neither will this guy accept who uh, Jesus is the Son of God, nor will he accept that he's the high priest. And this is what Jesus came to do. It's very clear that that's what born-again Christianity is. Now, of course, the... Uh, Quran says that uh, you should study the Torah and the Gospels. So what Gospel is it that the Quran is uh, preaching? It doesn't preach any Gospel whatsoever. They say they believe in Jesus, they love Jesus and he's one of the prophets and yet they don't accept anything which he said either in the Quran or in the Bible. So shame, shame on them for uh, belittling the Son of God and he is salvation. Make no mistake, he is the prophet which the Torah was speaking of. There's no other. Jesus Christ is the Messiah, as both the Quran and the Bible states. The Messiah. That title wasn't given to any other but Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. I know so, the first of all, things I'm pretty slow here. Let's count how many times the guy blinks in about 10 seconds. <laughs> He blinks about 550 times every couple of seconds. <laughs> Crazy. And now another one just for you to think about. Uh, this is from John 8.24. Jesus basically saying, Unless you believe that I am he, you shall die in your sins. It's a small commentary in one of the translations here. Unless you believe I am he, in other words, I am, this may be um, talking of God, the Son of God, Yahweh, in the flesh, self-identification from Exodus 3.14, the great I am, I believe that could be Isaiah, possibly, where God repeatedly says, I am he. Let's just turn to that. Is that Isaiah 40 to 55? Let me just check that. Okay, some verses with I am he in it. Uh, we go down and think it was referring to this part on Isaiah. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. You are my witnesses, saith the Lord, my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. For me there is no God in form, neither shall uh, form, neither shall be after me. Ye before the day was I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? And even to your old age I am he, and even to the whore hairs will I carry you. I have made, I will bear, even I will carry and deliver you. 
Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my called, I am he, I am the first, I am also the last. Even I am he that uh, comforts you, who art thou that should be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass. And God has the lawnmower. Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold it is I. Um, so the name Yahweh is very much reference to the one true God. Yahweh the Father. Yahweh the Son. Yahweh the Holy Spirit. When you're speaking of Yahweh. It's a plural word. Um. It's the name of the Godhead, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is indeed Yahweh. Um, I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins. If you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Then Jesus said unto them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you shall know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father has taught me, I spake these things. Some said, This is he, others said, He is like him, but he said, I am he. Now I tell you, before it come, that when it is come to pass, you might believe that I am he. They answered to him, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus said unto them, I am he. Judas also was protected him, stood with them. As soon then as he said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let these go their way. Hallelujah. Acts um, to him said the Lord in a vision. Okay. Behold, I am here, Lord. Well, okay, that's not talking about Jesus. Uh... Okay. Then Peter went down to the men which were sent. Okay, behold, I am he whom you seek. And the cause of first to come. That's Cornelius. Revelation, this is Jesus speaking. I am he that lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. So you believe in the gospels, Muslims, yet? This is this is Jesus is the gospel. If, if unless you believe that he is the son of God you shall die in your sins according to his own testament his own testimony now you can believe in any prophet you want but unless you believe that Yeshua that Jesus Christ is he the son of God the Messiah you shall die in your sins and this is talking to the churches who have fallen into sin I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth, searcheth the reins of the hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to his works. So this is even uh, Jesus rebuking his own church. You know, if there's Christians that are going to be rebuked like this from their master, what do you think it's going to be like for those that reject Jesus Christ as the Son of God and the Messiah? Think about it. 